welcome back to another weekly episode of Layers of Peace Collage Art by Treva. This week's collage inspiration came by way of the radiant luster of luminous lights. As soon as I caught sight of this image, the gleaming pops of light in our subject content sunglasses illuminated a Rolodex of collage possibilities throughout my artist's mind. Specifically, these two perceivingly minute and tiny orbs of light above the lenses of the subject content sunglasses gave way to the thought of magnifying and hyperbolizing light in an unforgettable way in a collage. While cutting out this image, I couldn't help but notice the subject content's confident and unwavering stance. Such composure seemed to emanate the notion and power of light. Having three pairs of scissors allows my collage cutting practice to flourish and have variety. I utilize three pairs for specific and distinct purposes. My purple pair serves as my tool to trim away excess paper to help me use my sharp detail scissors less on excess paper that no longer serves the new vision I am creating. My orange scissors are detail scissors that work like a dream for straight lines and smooth curvaceous cuts that are crisp and linear. My aqua pair of scissors serves as my go-to for intricate texture cuts. As you can see, I am employing a rocking motion to cut out the hair, slowly rocking the paper from right to left with my non-cutting hand while using my detail scissors to make tiny intricate cuts to mimic the waves and curl patterns texture. Cutting things out is indeed a meditative process that allows collage artists to open their minds to all creative possibilities as well as to get to know their subject content on a much deeper level. The act of cutting things out involves multiple ways of seeing. After all, inside of the kaleidoscopic universe of art, there is always more than one way to see. My X-Acto knife comes in handy when I come across slim and narrow spaces too tight for my scissors alone. Just a couple slits in each area provide my detail scissors enough access to trim away what's no longer needed. Artists of all disciplines have the unique ability to see the monumental in the minute. The orbs of light in the subject contents sunglasses offers a bevy of ideas surrounding and involving light. Using the magnetic idea of luminous lights and its captivating power is what my imagination and creativity would like to further delve into. As I have mentioned in previous videos, one of my go-to organizational strategies that I employ as a collage artist is filing my collected images by color using labeled file folders. This strategy is a time saver and allows me to be more strategic and intentional with my art making decisions. Because of all of the warm colors surrounding our subject content, my imagination has ushered in the idea to incorporate a well-lit clear sky with bold and striking colors of blue. So with this in mind, my goal now is to peruse and search for light, particularly the light that emanates from a cerulean or azure sky. I am on the hunt for well-lit skyscapes, complete with bright light, fluffy clouds, and a sky blue that behooves us all to look up.
after searching for potential background options, I found two distinct possibilities. The first option is a cerulean skyscape and mountain reflection. And as you can see, the second option is a warm golden hour sunset with glassy water waves. <laughs> Decision making is a natural and necessary part for creating. So in my efforts to make a final background decision, I wanted to see how the subject focal image would look with each option. As you can see, the first background option does not offer enough brilliancy of light. After all, my focus and goal for creating this collage is to showcase the luminous power of light. With the second background, however, there is something magnetically special about the warm golden hour sunset with glassy water waves. The way that the subject content image fits into the dip of the mountainscape, along with the haloing effect of the sunlight, it's simply captivating. A collage making idea came to me with the notion of how our subject content image could and should reflect and emit light in more than one way. Not only could he reflect light through the lenses of his sunglasses, but why not let him reflect light of his own? The perfect vehicle to usher in more light for our subject content is his t-shirt. So with this idea dancing around in my imagination, I set to carefully trim away his t-shirt, leaving the chocolate maroon collar and sleeve linings attached because these details could help frame in his new shirt better and offer guidelines for a new well-lit replacement. After carefully cutting out the subject content's original t-shirt, I found this ideal shimmery cerulean and steel blue skyscape from the pile of blue sky options from our earlier search that would make a befitting new t-shirt for our focal image to don. The glowing light of sunshine is bursting forth from behind an assembly of fluffy clouds, proving that the luminous power of light is not made to be hidden. So in order to aid my efforts to cut out the new t-shirt, I will be using my light table. I have found that using this technology tool when needing to replace content with new content makes arranging and redesigning collage ideas simpler because you're able to see the possibilities of your artistic decisions with ease and clarity. As you can see, I am now placing the original t-shirt on the light table so I can put the skyscape on top to see what placement position would best showcase as much light as possible for the new shirt. Using a light table takes away the guesswork and instantly reveals the t-shirt's new look. Now that the placement position has been chosen, it is time to secure the original t-shirt cutout to the skyscape. My temporary adhesive of choice is postage strips. They have a secure, non-permanent hole that does not damage or destroy the papers being held together. placing some postage strips around the entire cutout, I am now able to use my detail scissors to cut out the new t-shirt while removing the postage strips as I approach them and adding new ones if and when needed to aid my cutting. You can see that my scissors are simply following the outline of the original t-shirt. Here is a look at the new t-shirt with luminous light on full display. A 
the two background possibilities, I opted to go with the second option, the golden hour sunset with glassy sunlit water waves. I believe that this warm colored background will be an intriguing complement to the cool blue skyscape t-shirt. Now it's time to take a look at what has been achieved so far. This look is definitely maximizing the luminosity of light all around and throughout. And proceeding forward, this collage is now in need of embellishments to offer additional visual intrigue for boosting and hyperbolizing the idea of light. After seeing both the background and the subject content highlighting the energizing light from a sunlit sky, I instantly got inspired to use sun rays to showcase their linear reach. I was able to find two pages of the same exact image that I used for the t-shirt, so I knew that this would be the perfect complement for creating sun rays. And to create these rays, I used my X-Acto knife and my stainless steel ruler to commence to trimming some isosceles triangles thin enough to mimic the structure and look of sun rays, but also wide enough to still see details inside slivers of the cerulean in azure sky. <laughs> Now is the time to commence with the final part of composing our collage to bring the luminous light vision to life. To begin, I am now taking the time to arrange all of the sun rays in an order where I feel the light is best balanced using the sunlit clouds as my guide. I previously used my X-Acto knife to make small incisions under each tiny orb of light so that they would be able to hold all of the rays. And as you can see, I am placing each sun ray one by one inside the tiny slits in the lenses of the sunglasses. Using a ginger touch is a must to not crease or bend the paper while putting in each sun ray. In order to balance the look, I decided to use only seven of the isosceles triangles, putting four into one of the orbs and three into the other. I strategically arranged the rays collectively like a crowning halo radiating light throughout the sky. <laughs> Now it's time for a final look at the sunlit luminous collage I just made. Special thanks to all of you who have chosen to tune in for today's video. I do hope that you'll join me for next week in which I'll be bringing in something new and fresh that has inspired me to create.